Hi, and welcome back to To Read or Not To Read. Today, I've got five fiction picks to fill up your summer reading list and to let you virtually travel around the globe. My first pick is The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden. This is a historical fantasy fiction fairy tale set in medieval Russia. It's gonna involve a lot of Russian folklore, forest spirits, a frost demon. It is the first in her Winter Night trilogy and it's a complete series. We have the entire series on the shelf. Next up is My Soul to Keep by Tanana Reeve Du. This is the first in her African Immortals series, which is complete, and we have all of the, all of the series on the shelf. Um, this is a science fiction with horror elements. It's going to be about a woman who discovers that her perfect husband is guarding a 500-year-old secret that has deadly consequences for her and the people around her. Uh, it has been compared in a few reviews to Anne Rice's interview with the vampire, though it's really maybe not sh a vampire story. So I have to give this one a check. Next up is The Price of Paradise by Susana Lopez Rubio. This is going to let us travel to 1950s Havana, and it's the story of a charming immigrant who embarks on a love affair, a forbidden love affair, with the wife of a mobster. And this is gonna follow that love affair over 50 years through the revolution and beyond. Next up is The Calligrapher's Daughter by Eugenia Kim. This is gonna take us to early 20th century Korea. Uh, this is going to be taking place along the backdrop of Japanese rule of that country and the end of its monarchy. It features a headstrong and determined young female main character who is absolutely determined to create her own destiny and goes to work at the royal court as the monarchy is beginning to disappear. Um, really, really fantastic setting. So if you're interested, this one is ready and on the shelf. Last up is a new release from Reese Bowen. This is the Venice Sketchbook. It is a mostly historical fiction with strong romantic elements, and it's the story of a woman who goes to Venice to fulfill the last wishes of her great aunt to have her ashes spread in Venice, a city she lived in and loved before World War II. Um, along the way, our character is going to discover her great aunt's story of love lost and secrets kept. Well, I hope we have added a few new titles to your summer reading list. So until we meet again, happy reading, and we'll see you next on To Read or Not To Read.